Hi, I'm Katrina Arsman, the CEO of Pure Bookkeeping Australia. Today, I wanted to have a conversation with you around some of the difficult conversations we actually have with our clients. They could be around our pricing, asking them for more money, talking to them about scope and that we're not paid the value or the work that we do. So let's have a look at the seven magical steps to difficult sales conversations. So the first one is around naming the issue. So we want to be really clear on what the actual issue is here. So you might say to them something like that we don't feel as if we're charging you enough, that we need to revisit our pricing and our proposal. The second thing is around being really specific about um, example. So you could go into the conversation that, that you don't feel as if you are charging the value of the service that you're providing that you are continually upgrading your skills, education. The next thing is around describing our emotions. So here, if we are not charging what we're worth, if there's a lot of scope creep happening, then we can start feeling an emotion of being resentful, of feeling like we are not being valued, that the clients are not appreciating us, for example. And it's really hard and uncomfortable to have this conversation, but we feel as if it's an important thing to do. Then we want to clarify what is at stake. So in this instance, if we're not charging enough money to our clients, we may want to prioritize other clients. So those higher paying clients, we may go towards them and service them first. We might want to rush through the work. So it's really getting in, doing the work and then leaving and not providing them the value that, you know, there might be things in there that needs extra assistance or next extra work on or extra conversations with. So you are not providing them what you could possibly provide them. Then we want to identify what our contribution to it is. So it may be that you have not brought this to attention to the client before, that you put your head in the sand, it's all too hard and that you've not dealt with it. It may be, you know, you didn't realise earlier, you didn't have a system in place earlier. It could be that you were not even providing the service that you wanted to provide them and that you're only understanding this now that you want to go that little step further. So whatever it is that you are identifying as your contribution to this issue, then we can highlight that as well. And then we talk about the resolution. So let's discuss the level of service that you require. Let's discuss what your budget is and we can work around what that budget is. Let's discuss what other services that we could possibly provide you. And then the final step is listening, opening the floor for them to have a conversation. You're using the seven steps to state your story and your situation of how you've got to this point and then having that communication of what the solution is. I hope those seven steps have helped you become a lot clearer in the conversation that you want to hold and how to actually have a fierce conversation with a client. And these steps can be used right across your business and even your personal life, using these steps to be able to find out what the win-win situation is. I hope that's helped. Bye for now.